Okay, now that's the simple version of the line drill, a little bit slightly more complex version is when we do the opposite foot to the opposite hand. Um, and this one, I don't really uh, promote it quite as much, but it's just a good way to like kind of challenge yourself. And, um, you know, your feet will end up in a lot of different spots and a lot of different positions when you're striking. So it is good to have that coordination with your hands and feet regardless, because not every single time you go punch a combo is your feet just going to be with you, right? Sometimes it might end up going the opposite way. So the way that we do that is when now when I throw my left, my right hand, I'm sorry, I'm going to step with my left foot. When I throw my left hand, step with my right foot, okay? And again, it's a little bit more uh, complicated, a little bit more of a, a mind battle for you there because you're kind of doing opposite things. Uh, but it's a good little challenge and there is a lot of times, particularly like when you're throwing the right hand, like you will step with your left foot. And it's good to do this so that when you're uh, practicing, uh, no matter how you're using your feet and your hands together, again, your feet are always staying underneath you and you're never getting overextended and getting out of position, which is what I believe is the main function of shadow boxing is learning, uh, teaching yourself how to stay in position, what, no matter what you're doing, whether you're entering into an exchange, uh, whether you're ex exiting a strain, an exchange, whether you're in the middle of an exchange or a combo, whether you're defending, sprawling, uh, no matter what you're doing.